day before Worlds, and uh, this is live. This is yeah. This we're going right now. No rest. What are you working on there? I'm working on customizing a very small shackle to fit in a very small place. Uh, <laughs> high awesome. tech, you know. I got Custom my work here. <laughs> Needle nose pliers. So. So, what's uh? You were just talking about all the the carnage, broken mass, broken booms, yep. rudders over the past few days. Um, yeah, is, that one, is this is this a, a unique thing to have to deal with, or is this class used to this I kind think of stuff? It's just a it's a, it's a very heavier venue. It's water wave conditions are quite rough. And if you don't sail in these conditions all the time, it shows up all kinds of weaknesses in your technique and in your boat. And the guys that sail out here all the time are good at it. They, They've been through that learning curve and cycle with their equipment, and they've uh, got it sorted. And the rest of us are all, you know, saying, oh, this doesn't work at 25 knots, and this doesn't work, and this isn't strong enough. So, so you're talking like uh, like those guys have experience and you don't, but... Well, I, I, I'm from the East Coast. We sail a lot lighter breezes, you know, and, and uh, I've done some rig changes in the last couple of years, and, and they've never been tested in heavy air. I just, you know, for one thing, I found out we couldn't rake the mass back far enough. But just, you know, some simple stuff, but, you know, we've just been sailing in light air a lot. And uh, I, I do lots of different sailing, so I don't sail this boat enough to kind of work out all that stuff. So I really haven't sailed it since uh, March. So, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We were talking uh, just off camera, though. You, you can claim that you have won a North American championship in this class uh, in at least once in the past four decades. 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, <laughs> it's, it's keep trying, I guess. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I suppose so, but keep it up. How has the, how has the class changed or evolved, or has it, since uh, the oh, 70s? I think it's gotten more, more, more competitive. It's gotten more technical. Still put a lot of time and thought into it as they did then, maybe more. But um, uh, I think you know the equipment's gotten a lot better. I think back in those days, I think um, sometimes we had an advantage with equipment because we were you know, building better boats and stuff. Uh, and that I think helped the Americans versus the Europeans, maybe the rest of the world for a little while. Um, but that's all leveled out. So in that respect, you know, globally, I think it's better. More of a level playing field. I think you know, back in the uh, early '80s, I think we just had stronger boats, hold them better. That helped us a lot. Yeah, that's one interesting thing about the the 505 class. A lot of these boats I'm seeing here that are going to compete and, and even do well have been around for years and years, yeah. as compared to some of you know other yeah. classes that yeah. max out after three well, it's years. It's a lot of 55-year-old design, which is pretty amazing when you consider it. And there hasn't been many changes, just the bigger kites a few years ago. And that's pretty, basically it's, it's, it's quite a phenomenal design, given that. Um, yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been good. What uh, what keeps you coming back to this class oh, year after year? It's good fun. The boats are fabulous. The people are great. And it's, uh, I think all of us like to work on this stuff a little bit and tweak stuff and figure out systems and try different things. And that, there's a lot of freedom for that in the class. So that's good. But the, the performance of the boat's great. So it's great in all conditions. It's easy to deal with. Have you gotten your uh, your system, your rig, you know? squared away and set up uh, 20 years ago, or is that something that you're always changing and evolving? Um, well, the biggest change probably has been that um, the, with the new spinnaker, we have to support the rig higher up, so we have trap wings and stuff like that. So the rigs have gotten a little bit heavier uh, in that respect, and been, we're now using you know, the trap wires are higher and stuff like that, so that's been a little bit of a change. Um, the center boards have gotten smaller. In the area, they've gotten to be higher aspect, um, so that's a little bit different. Um, but you know, I was laughing about the other day some of the stuff. You know, we've just gone back to stuff we did a long time ago in terms of systems. You know, they're real simple, and strong, and easy. You know, stuff. But some, you know, I ended up putting this system back on. I had, you know, in the 80s, so it worked. Yeah, you know, that worked. I better try that one again. <laughs> so some things keep coming around, you know. Sure. Part of the fun, though, right? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not like you, uh, you know, just strap on a sail and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we, it's, sometimes you really want to be able to do that. You're sitting here working on your boat, but uh, you know, it's part of the game. I guess. When you come in, you 
and come in late and not prepared, you gotta do that part. Or else you can go break it. So right. uh, if we're all organized, we'd be like this guy and have to go all covered up. <laughs> be chilling. So. Yeah, really. Go, go out and yeah. win a regatta and but then we're not, uh, you know, take it out. I'm sailing with a fellow that I've never sailed with before. Well, we sailed together three weeks ago. Uh, but, so that's kind of a learning curve. But it's all fun. Enjoying that. Sure. Yeah. So what, what are your hopes and expectations for the next week? Oh, I think if we have fun, don't break anything. And uh, I'd like to get in the top ten would be good. If we can do that, just see how it goes. So, cool. It's a heavy air is a different thing, you know, and we just haven't sailed in heavy air very much, so we're, we're starting to get better at it. Uh, yeah. But you know, we've got our little glitches here and there <laughs> to sure. sort out. <laughs> you got plenty of time to practice. No, not not, not anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> during competition, it'll be more practice. It'll be a great event. It's a great venue. One of the best venues in the world, probably. Yeah. Absolutely. A little cold for my taste. It is chilly today. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a little... Uh, I'm never going to own a dry suit, but I'm getting close to needing one here. <laughs> <laughs> That's already well, you have to have a dry suit. It's too cold. Agreed. Well, good luck to you. I hope Thank you stay you. warm and, and yep. do well. Yep.